In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sampler in GarageBand iOS. Hey guys, JP here, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about music tech and looping, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and then you'll know when a new video is out. So in GarageBand iOS, we've got lots of different uses for the keyboard, but one of them is the sampler. The sampler in GarageBand iOS is really simple, and you can record anything from either the microphone or if you've got an audio interface plugged in. A couple of great uses for the sampler is if you wanted to record something that was going to be repeated quite a lot, like clapping, if you wanted to manipulate a real world sound, and if you wanted to manipulate the timing of that sample in MIDI. What I'm going to do is launch the sampler. It's under the keyboard section, and we just click it now. What you'll see is this. You have the transport section at the top, as we always have, and then underneath we have the sampler itself. We have a big red start button, and you can see the input level there. That's just coming from the microphone of the iPad. I've not got any audio interface or microphone plugged in today. And then we've got new sample and my samples, and then we've got import as well. And then underneath there, you'll see the play area. Point your iPad towards the sound you want to record, then tap start. After you stop recording, you can instantly play the sound on the sampler keyboard. Now, two things. Number one, the import button. If you import, you can import your own, from your own music, from your own files, and even from the Apple loops. Number two, at the bottom left-hand corner, little cable icon. If you tap on that, it'll show you your levels, but also if you had an audio interface, you could pick which channel you're coming from as well. Let's get started. All we need to do is we just need to click the start button. It'll start recording, the open the recording up, and I can make a noise or a clap. So I'm gonna do a clap for now and just show you how this works. So I've hit stop, you can see now the keyboard becomes available and we have the normal controls like going octave up or octave down, sustain, glissando, scale, and as arpeggiator and changing the way the keyboard is. So if I just click on it, if I hold it down, it'll play the whole sample. Or what I can do is I can use the playheads here on the sample. There's little trim sliders on the right and left. So I can trim this down to just one sample. The higher up I play, the faster the sample is played. And the lower I play, the slower the sample is played. I can also play more than one note, of course. Now a couple of things have come up now we've recorded our sample in. So in the sample area, we've got my sample number one, we've got revert, and then at the bottom here we've got shape, tune, trim, and reverse and loop. So we're in trim mode automatically. If we go to tune, if you'd sung a note, you could actually fine tune that note. And if we go to shape, you can see there how much attack is there and how much sustain and how much decay. In trim, what you can also do is you can reverse the sample. And also, you can loop the sample as well. If I trim it even faster, Now, why would you want to do this? It's very, very simple. If I wanted to create real life claps, I could sit there for four minutes through a song and clap all the way through, or I can clap once and then I can play them in and loop them. If I now hit record, I've just recorded two bars, and what I can do is I can make sure that that is quantized. And then all I need to do is then loop that sample. Now the other thing as well is we can go to new sample and we can record a new one, or we can go to my sample. So we've got my sample number one. GarageBand also gives you a couple of ones there. So there's a couple from the library. So there's a couple of ones here. Oh, 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 oh. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import a sample. So I'm just gonna click import in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna pick one of the samples from the Apple Loops. So let's have a look what we've got here. Yeah, let's use that one. So to use it, what you have to do is there's a little download next door to the heart. If I click that, that'll throw that in. And if I press C3, it'll play the original tune.
and that's fine. What I can do is if I start shaping this, I can actually pull this across and we can trim it a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it out so when it starts looping, you'll notice there, shaped it with a bit of decay. Pull this out a bit. So if you like the sound of one of the loops, but you want to play that loop, you can do. So now what I can do is I can click plus, I can click sampler again, and this time I can actually go back to my samples and there it is sitting there waiting for me. So if I use that one, I can now hit record. So quite clearly you can see that you can grab multiple samples from different places and I could even sample my voice, I could make harmonies and very very quickly by recording them in as a sample and then using the MIDI to quantize them and put them in the right place. The other thing you'll notice as well, I had full control over the second sample so I put it into pitch mode where I can change that. Also you've got pitch and mod wheel which you can use as well. And that doesn't also stop you from using any of the effects that you can get with GarageBand as well. So we can tap on effects here and we can bring all of those in. So that's the sampler in GarageBand. It's just a quick video to show you how you can control it. This is episode six in a series all about GarageBand iOS. If you wanna see the full series, I'm gonna put a link just there. And if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try and answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you very much to everyone who's subscribing so far. Have a look at the Patreon link as well, and we'll see you on the next video.